Okay, hey there, it's me, Mandy. I am a model and makeup artist in Milwaukee and a beach body coach. And every week since about a little over a month ago, I've been doing a contest called Make Me Laugh the Hardest, where I share something that I find amusing and you can submit a comment to win a random prize. I have gotten two pictures back of people who have won prizes. So here's Leah from the first week with her prize. And then here are Nathan's prizes from last week. And of course, it's time to announce the winner. The first, I'm, I got three that were pretty good, so I'm gonna announce all three, the top three. So the third place, which does not get a prize, neither does second place, sorry. But the third place person is John Bensky. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know for sure but it is um, twice the absorbing power of Barney tampons. The second place is my friend who I call the Raccoon Whisperer, and it is a brief portion of the SpongeBob theme song parody, and it is, oh, who lives in vaginas of those under 13 SpongeBob tampons. And then it says, don't worry, sweetheart, you're not dying, you're becoming a woman. Keep those crusty crabs away <laughs> with Spongebob tampons, now in banana flavor. I guess I kind of asked for it with putting a tampon thing up for grossness. But that is even topped both in humor and grossness as well by Nathan, who I know did win last week. But it goes like this. It's another song. Are you ready, girls? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't smell you. We're not bleeding. Oh, who lives in your love cave waiting for you to bleed? SpongeBob Tam Packs. Absorbent then yellow then red turns he. SpongeBob Tam Packs. If bleeding your pants is something you wish, SpongeBob Tam Packs, then bleed away and smell like fish. So that is the end of that one. And then there's a tagline or caption, he says, that says, Spongebob and Pedo Bear, keeping girls filled since 2012. Because of you bleed, you bleed. Because if you bleed, you bleed. And nobody wants that. So Nathan, you've won again. I will be sending you a prize when I get back to Milwaukee, which is funny since I'm in your house right now. And now it's time to move on to the story for next week. Now, much like the first week, this time I am going to share with you a new story that I found today. And here it goes. In Rock Hill, South Carolina, a woman was hearing some sounds coming from her ceiling. And she thought to herself, and this is a quote, something just ain't right. And she thought that there was some poltergeist stuff going on. That's also a quote. Well, what they found was that her ex-boyfriend that she had broken up with 12 years ago had been living in her attic for two weeks. And so they found, I guess, a couple of Route 44 Sonic cups filled with urine and feces, because I guess where else is he going to go since he's living in an attic? And um, he was watching them, or watching his ex-girlfriend, through the air vent and another quote from this woman who was being stalked and this is scary and creepy but also just ridiculous and kind of hilarious but she said it's got me flabbergasted how can you look at someone through an air vent and this is a mugshot of the ex-boyfriend because apparently he was released from prison after stealing her car so here he is So you can use the picture, you can use the story, however you feel inspired. I look forward to hearing your jokes. Again, you have until next week, Thursday, which, let's see, today's the 13th, so that'll be September 20th at 2 p.m. Central Time to submit, and then I will be posting the video shortly after that. Thanks you so much for watching. By the way, I was at a trade show all day, and this is my outfit, so that's why I look like this. Thanks again, and I am excited to laugh. Have a great week.